Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off to give the highest honor, glory, and all praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who teach and do the well and taught me the truth out of the Bible and amongst other things. Peace and salutations to the elect scattered to all four corners of the earth, my fellow laborers who push in this work and word and truth and sincerity all across the globe. Shalom, this is your brother Tom Mayat from the GMS Holland branch coming back at you with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yoshai and I hope it is edifying. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 49 and verse 10 and it reads, But I have made Esau bare, I have uncovered his secret, his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbors, and he is not. Yeah, man, so uh, this is a part two. Uh, let me talk about the j double o's <laughs> you see and uh yeah there's a lot of talking points about them and uh one of the greatest talking points is that they are not the people of the lord they ain't fitting biblical prophecies so we're gonna go into that and that's why i was reading jeremiah 49 and 10 you see because the lord is making them bare man you see, they are being discovered, uncovered. <laughs> you see, everything is coming out about who these people really are. So that's why with uh, with all kinds of uh, draconian laws and uh, try to silencing people and, uh, and especially they need war, you know, so they can still control the narrative they think, but the world is on to them, you see. So they still getting a lot of backlash from the whole world because people have started to see that they are not the people and the Lord is doing that, man, to make them bear. So this is a part two, like I said. And um, the previous video uh, I was watching, I think uh, yesterday, the previous video about, uh, you know, about Salakia uh, from first, um, you know, part one. And uh, what I noticed because I was playing it on you uh, from YouTube, you know, uh, one of these uh, this this clip, this video, you know, and uh, yeah, so you, you barely couldn't hear no uh, audio. So you know, you know, ESO is because there's a lot of the, you see here on the screen a lot of facts is being uh, portrayed in the video in this video, you know, so. They are made bare, so of course, like we know today, uh, what they did with Hezbollah with the peep, uh, with the beepers. We're gonna go into that also a little briefly, you know. But uh, you know, they have control over all these devices, so uh, they can make it. Uh, that uh, yeah, they can have they have the power to you know really uh, uh, manipulate your video or or. or you know hinder your video hey we deal with satan because we know what's going on man but uh let me go to this video you know i'm gonna start from the beginning because uh i played it in uh, part one and i you didn't hear it, no sound so i'm gonna play this and i got a few other clips you know so uh we're gonna go through it i ain't gonna play everything you know but we're gonna go slightly through it yes so I try to talk less and give you more video, <laughs> you know, sometimes with some few scriptures, but uh, let's, let's go. Hello, I'm CJ Willemond, and in this week's episode, we reveal how fast-changing realities are forcing Israeli Jews to flee the Zionist state forever. But first, a quick reminder to like and subscribe to our show. Now let's get into it. And uh, a disclaimer, this is fair use only, you know, I, I, uh, matter of fact, bear with me. So now we got that out of the, that out of the way that we play it. Israel has failed to achieve any of its stated objectives in Gaza. It has not destroyed Hamas or other Palestinian resistance groups, and nor has it freed its remaining hostages. 
But even worse for the Zionist state, it not only stares down a war on all fronts, but also it has unintentionally united the Arab world against it, as illustrated by this stunning development last week, in which the Arab League removed Hezbollah from its classification of terrorist organisations, a classification that both it and the Gulf Cooperation Council gave to Hezbollah in 2016, when it accused the group of inciting sectarian violence in Syria, Yemen and Iraq. This reclassification is Israel's worst nightmare coming to bear because this is the collapse of its divide and rule strategy in the Middle East. Hamas set the trap for Israel and Israel swallowed the bait, hook, line and sinker. Its relentless and merciless genocide in Gaza has caused so much anger and humiliation in the Arab world that it's bearing the deep divides which emerged after the Arab Spring. This sudden turn of events threatens the very survival of the Jewish state with ordinary Israeli citizens coming face to face with reality. The realization that Israel's colonial enterprise is on the brink of collapse. They aren't stupid. They see what's happening, which is why they are now fleeing the country in record numbers, with a new report showing that more than half a million have fled without plans for returning. This number is expected to double and even quadruple to two million Israelis fleeing the country within coming weeks as conflict against Hezbollah escalates along Israel's northern border. And that is also really a sign that these are not the people. Because, uh, matter of fact, let me go to a scripture. Let me go to the book of Amos, chapter 9. And uh, uh, let me start at 14. And I'm going to read it in the NLT. I will bring my exiled people of Israel back from distant lands, because we are scattered to all four corners of the earth. You know, the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners. And they will rebuild rebuild their uh, ruined cities and live in them again. They will plant vineyards and gardens. They will eat their crops and drink their wine. I will firmly plant them there in their own land. They will never again be uprooted. So our people, when we are going to go back to the land, we ain't going to flee and, you know, having war over them, man, eh? from the land that I have given them, says the Lord, your power, you see? So uh, let me also go to Isaiah. So these people don't fit the prophecies, man. They are having war constantly afraid they have to flee the land you know it's almost like two million israelis flee in the land so that is that is why if you are the, the if you are the chosen people if you are fit in the prophecies you don't have to flee because why the lord he said when he gonna plant his people over there they're never gonna be uprooted again out of this land you see so that means nobody can we're never gonna go away anymore out of israel man and you are fleeing the land, so <laughs> it's clearly you are not the people. So this is Isaiah chapter 2 and verse, um, let me see where, I guess, uh, where I'm going to start. Uh, yeah, let me start with uh, uh, verse 2. Uh, Let me start with, uh, let me read it in NLT, Salakia. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 2, verse 2. In the last days, the mountain of the Lord's house will be the highest of all, because Israel is going to be uh, under the rulership of uh, the authority of Yahweh Bashem uh, Yahweh You see, Israel is going to be the ruler gov uh, ruling government uh, of the earth, man. Uh, let me read it again. In the last days, the mountain of the Lord's house will be the highest of all, the most important place on earth. Everybody is going to know that, hey, to the true Yahweh Shai, that a hey, in uh, Israel is going to be the, 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 the ruler, the, 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 the ruler, the, the government of the earth, man. You see? It will be raised above the other hills, and hills and mountains goes in governments. Uh, mountains are big governments and, and hills are lesser governments, you know, and people from all over the world will stream with there to worship, yeah, what everybody is going to go 
they're going to throw all their, 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 their heathen pagan gods away and they're all going to worship the God of Israel from Isaac, Jacob, or from uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You see? Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Uh, people from many nations will come and say, Come, let us go, go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of Jacob's God, Yahweh. You see? Jacob's power. There, uh, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. That he will teach us his ways, because everybody is going to follow the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai under the rulership, and we're going to implement it. Yahweh Ratasavi, that's why we call ourselves the hopefully elect. We're going to implement these laws upon them, you see? Uh, and we'll walk in his path, for the Lord teaching will go out from Zion, and like I say, and we're going to implement it. Uh, his word will go out from Jerusalem. The Lord will meet, uh, mediate between nations and will settle international disputes because there are going to be no more war. The Lord is going to settle things for, for once and for all. We're going to force your nations, you know, to, 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 to do the bidding of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, man. You see? Let me read this in the, in the cage if you like it better over there. Uh, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation. So that means no more war. Neither shall they learn war anymore. And that is the, 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 the biblical, the prophecy, the fulfillment when the real Israelites are going to be back in the land of Israel. And that's why these small heads, these JOOs are avoiding scriptures like this. You see, they ain't going to be there by a Belfort decoration. No, the real Israelites are going to be placed there by the Lord. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You see, and that is future prophecy. It didn't happen yet. Because if they were the people, if this was already fulfilled, they would stay in the land. There was no more war, nowhere in Israel. And still, till the day of today, still till the day of today, there is war. You see it everywhere. When these, where these small, uh, small heads are dwelling and going, they cannot dwell safe in the land Israel. Because all the nations round about are against them. You see? The, the, uh, the, 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 the Muslim, uh, the Muslim countries, they are all against them because they are not the people. They are in fulfilling biblical prophecies. You see, so that is what that is future prophecy, man. So these people that are over there, they are liars, and the Lord exposing them. That's why we was reading uh, Jeremiah forty nine and ten. The Lord made Esau bear because they are the Edomites. Esau, Edom, the so-called white people, they are the Edomites. So, let me play this very further. That two million from a total population of seven million are planning to leave is the sum total of every Zionist worst nightmare. But the message to Zionist Jews from the entire Middle East is this. Don't let the door smack you on the ass on the way out. <laughs> And yes, that sounds like unnecessary gloating, but it's important to understand that Israelis have only their government to blame. Because this trend began well before October 7th, with a July 2023 survey finding that 28% had plans of leaving Israel out of fears that the country was headed towards civil war and violence due to internal political schisms. If uh, the situation will be so bad, it's worsening every day. Uh, we will we'll find a place to live outside Israel. We are all have uh, European passports. And others also think of emigrating <laughs> as hardline ministers push through high... You see, so they have double passports and ready to flee the land because why? They are in trouble. They are in war. They have no rest. You see? And when we are going to go over there, Jacob going to have rest. The Israelites, Judah... Israel going to have rest. Controversial laws that would weaken oversight of the government by the courts. Unfortunately, many, many of my friends uh, check the options in other countries. I will not raise my kids in a country which is not democratic. Today, Israelis are getting a taste of their own medicine. And by all accounts, they don't like it. And because the Middle East is not their native home, 
They are grabbing their American or European passports and heading quickly for the exits, telling a waiting journalist how... You see, it is not their native home. Because why? They don't belong over there. <laughs> Terrifying it has become to illegally occupy another people's land. I just had the worst experience of my life. <laughs> I was in quarantine and I heard the rockets go off and my whole life changed. This underscores the point that Palestinians have been yelling at the top of their voices for years that Jewish settlers have the luxury of running to their countries of origin when times get tough. Whereas Palestinians have nowhere else to go. This is their land, their indigenous homeland, and therefore they will defend it to the... And uh, we already read it, but I'm going to read it, uh, read it again. Uh, you know, because really, the, the both of them don't belong over there. And... Uh, you know, I really got to say, uh, uh, in the midst of the Palestinian, and also also with uh, Amalek, you know, with uh, over that day, you have a lot of Israelites, man, and especially in, uh, with the Palestinians, you got a lot of Israelites who stay there in Israel from generation to generation, you see? So they've been oppressed also by uh, Esau, man, the, the, and these are the uh, Amalekites. So uh, let me get there real quick. Uh, bear with me. If I can find it. Mm. Come on, this is uh, the book of Zechariah, chapter 9 and verse 6. A bastard shall dwell in Ashdod, and I will cut off the pride of the Philistines. You see? So both uh, of them don't uh, really belong in the land the the, the land that really belongs to you so-called negroes latinos and native americans the real is biblical israelites you know the hebrew israelites there is the, the, that long uh, land belongs on to uh, us you see so that's why this is happening because the lord is steering these nations against nations man you see so this whole kingdom is going down, man, everywhere, man, because the 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 the, Edom, the Edomites, Amalek, the Lord is exposing Esau Edom, man, you see, and Amalek is really the head tribe of the Edomites, you see, they are the first. So, uh, yeah, man, let me play this further. Very last man, woman and child, even when faced with genocide, the people of Gaza are going nowhere. Israel, on the other hand is now faced with a massive shortfall of soldiers. It needs 10,000 new recruits immediately, which is why the Israeli Supreme Court ruled last week that ultra-Orthodox Jews must be subject to the military draft. In Salakia, to break it uh, down very well, a bastard and a bastard. Let me look up that word bastard because I went quick over that, you know, but uh, like the apostle said, you always have new people, you know, listening to the video, so... We're going to break that down, the word bastard, in uh, Zechariah chapter 9 and verse 6. Uh, let me look it up. Bear with me. Yeah, and this is also to the, goes to that word mamser, you know. And they always use it wrong, this word, you know. But uh, this, these are really <laughs> a mamser, you know. And uh, a mamser goes into a bastard child of incest let me go to the to the let me go to the and this is also what they say born of a jewish father and a heathen mother or vice versa that is an incorrect because if you are real if you're not an ish but you are a real israelite if you are from the house of jacob you know and your father is a real, uh, look at Drake. Drake is a real uh, Israelite, you know, because his mother is, 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 is Jewish, you know, and his father is a real Jake. So that makes Jake, or for, that makes Drake, so like, yeah, Drake, Jake, <laughs> that makes Drake a real uh, Israelite, you see? That is how it is. You are of your father's house, you, and that go, you can read it. I ain't going to take it now, but read it now. You can go to uh, the book of Numbers, chapter A, uh, 1. And eighteen, you know, according to the pedigrees of the of your fathers, man, you see, it goes into that. 
So if you if you are your father's seed, it doesn't matter how you look, you know, you are an Israelite. You see? Kyrie Irving, you see a whole lot of gays, man. You know, they you when you look at them, some you think like sometimes you think like, hey, he's uh, you know, but then we check the spirit, because our spirit bear witness with their spirit that they are the Israelites, man. So it is all about your father's house, man. You see? So that is really an uh a bastard and they are bastards because they are illegitimate in a dwelling in a land that not belongs to them you see and uh yeah it goes also here in the outline of biblical use uh uh usage an illegitimate uh, illegitimate child and that is what uh, that is what it is and they are illegitimate in uh, inhabiting the land because they don't belong over there because the blessing don't didn't went to Esau no the blessing went to Jacob Jacob is the is is the is the real uh, how you say it he's the real um, uh, uh, legit child that belongs in 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 Israel man you see his birthright the blessing went to him so he's the the one who really uh uh is the the, the legit child who has uh the blessing of that land man you see and the inheritance and everything that comes with it man you see so yeah man but they are the best that are dwelling in the land of israel is amalek you see the 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 the, the j double o's so, yeah, let me go back to the video, so like, yeah. After decades of being exempt from military service, now watch how Israeli forces treated those who protested the ruling. This is the manifestation of Zionist desperation. This is Israel on the verge of collapse. This is like watching the dying days of Nazi Germany when it forced young boys and old men to fight against the advancing Allied forces. <laughs> Israel is done. It simply cannot cope with multiple wars on multiple fronts while its young men and women dodge military conscription by taking extended vacations with their families in New York, London and Paris. This is a lesson that Russia has learned during its occupation of Ukraine. Its men don't wish to die defending stolen land, which is why millions of Russians of military age are vacationing in Asia, forcing Putin to send jail criminals to the front lines, which begs the question. What Jew in their right mind would want to move to Israel and fight for the Zionist army, given Israel is the most dangerous place in the world for Jews, and given Israeli soldiers are ordered to shoot their comrades in the back to prevent them from being taken captive? Israel's military recruitment crisis has been brewing for some time. It's a rite of passage in Israeli society. When you turn 18, you serve mandatory military service. Two years for women, nearly three for men. But for some young Jewish Israelis, something is changing. When you think of Israel's military in one word, what do you think? Three words, uh, wrong side of history. What about you? All right. These teenagers are burning their draft letters, part of an unprecedented movement to refuse to join the army. For many, one of Israel's most cherished public institutions. Our society is violent because everyone is holding weapon. Making matters worse for ordinary Israelis is the country's rapidly deteriorating economy. The currency is in freefall, tourism has dried up, the housing market has crashed, and gross domestic production has plummeted nearly 20%. The only metric that has improved is the unemployment rate. But this is because so many have quit their jobs, packed up their belongings, and fled the country, a reality that has seen more than one in three businesses close since the start of the year. A lot of uh, small businesses closed already because they didn't have uh, the help and uh, not a lot of work. We have here three or four uh, uh, restaurants and uh, mini markets that... Israel's economy is expected to go from bad to worse. The Jewish state is isolated diplomatically and culturally like never before, as it sits in the dock at The Hague for committing war crimes and crimes against humanity. So when you add all of it... Yeah, so... Uh... Uh, uh, Nathan, not uh, <laughs> J-double-O, <laughs> you know, I always need to laugh about that, but uh, his real name is Bibi Milakowski, you know, so they always change the name, you know, and to sound, make it look sound more that 
they are belong over there. <laughs> but yeah, really, he is a, a war crimin criminal, you know, and uh, he need to be. Uh, he's indicted, indicted for court, you know. So uh, that's why he uh, tried to keep in office so that he cannot uh, cannot uh, come be, uh, in front of the criminal court, you know war because of war crimes he committed against uh, the Palestinians man you see so um, let me see if I can look it up bear with me so let me read it this is uh, uh, this is from the statement of the ICC and it stands for International Criminal Court and uh, uh, let me read it over here. This is from the International Criminal Court himself. Uh, this was from 20 of May in 2024. Uh, and he's indicted for more things, you know, also for, uh, for, for, for other crimes, you know, fraud and all that kinds of things. Uh, let me read it over here. Sadakia. Statement of, uh, this is from May, uh, uh, this is 20th of May of 2024. Statement of ICC Prosecutor Karim A.A. Khan KC applications for arrest warrants in the situation in the state of Palestine. Today I'm filling applications for warrants of arrest before uh, pre-trial chamber one of the International Crime Court in the situation in the state of Palestine. ICC prosecutor Khan on application. Uh, no, like, yeah. Let me see. Uh, yeah, it's a whole long, a long thing to read. I want a shorter version. Okay. Call to pre prosecute Benjamin Netanyahu for war crimes expose, exposes the West moral double thing. Yeah, because all these countries like Europe and especially Babylon the Great aka America they always stand behind uh, America you know but now they are indicted for criminal uh, uh, you know now he's indicted for war crimes against uh, the Palestinians man and if you as a Western country are stand behind that that they say something about your moral you know and we know that these devils has no good morals man you see, you see it in the war with uh, Ukraine. You see all these things that they're pushing and they want you to be uh, obedient and blind and stay behind all the wickedness, you know, because all really all these things are bankers' wars and it is his people who are behind everything, all these wars that are going on all across the world, man. You see, because, hey, <laughs> Jacob Rothschild, all these, all these people, the Rothschilds, they are the one and, and uh, they created also the state Israel. So Rothschild, you know, with the law at Belfort, you see, <laughs> that was no Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, it didn't come yet, nothing, but they created the state Israel. And this is his people who are uh, responsible for uh, 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 mostly all the wars, what is happening here on this earth, man. That's why they also named banker wars, you see. And that is his people, the Edomites, the Amalekites, you see? So yeah, man, so that is going on, man. And also uh, in this, uh, uh, I saw something also in this interview. I don't think I'm skipped over it, but they also said Hamas, uh, Hamas, Hezbollah. Uh, I think Hamas of Hezbollah is no longer, I think Hezbollah is no longer anymore uh uh so in the in the the world of in the world of the arabs is no longer anymore an uh, an terrorist organization they scraped them from the list man and they said that they are protecting their country so this is also an other blow for uh uh the the small heads man you see so everybody's against them they are getting exposed man so really so that is what is going on man uh, in indignant protest by Israeli and U.S. leaders over last week decision by the prosecutor of the International Criminal Court (ICC) to seek Benjamin Netanyahu's arrest for alleged war crimes, show new light 
on an old reality for those at the top who wield decisive political power. All people are equal, but some are more equal than others. And that is always with them. And uh, immediately when you expose them or if you say something about them, uh, they are waving the anti-semantics uh, <laughs> card at you. Like Elder Malcolm always said, you know, they wave in that card for you. And uh, yeah, basically, you need to shut the hell up <laughs> and let us do our wickedness, you know. So that is what it is, man. So um, yeah, man, let you go further with the video. So like, yeah. Pieces together, along with the wars that soon won't be able to fight. You come to understand why upwards of 2 million Jewish settlers plan to self-deport from Israel within the coming weeks and months. You might call this karmic or godly justice. Others might call it a new biblical exodus. But I liken the mass exodus of Jewish migrants from Palestinian land to a reverse Nakba. In other words, realities on the ground are encouraging Jewish migrants to leave, therefore invoking memories of how these same Jewish migrants forcibly expelled nearly one million Palestinians from their homes in 1948 to pave the way for a Jewish supremacist state. The irony couldn't be made starker and karma is a bitter pill to swallow. I hope these fleeing Israelis take this lesson from history. I hope they take this moment to understand that their phony country is built on stolen land and constructed on killing, displacing and dispossessing the indigenous Palestinian population. I hope... You see, so they're getting exposed everywhere, man. So um, I'm going to for, uh, fast forward, but first I want to read a, script, a scripture, a precept. This is uh, 2nd Ezra, chapter 6, and verse 27. For evil shall be put out and the seed shall be quenched as for fate it shall flourish corruption shall be overcome and the truth which had been so long without food shall be declared and that is exactly what you are seeing here, man the truth is being declared that they are frauds and they are not the people you see and hey the apostles were saying this for the longest and the elders and down you see there you have the case with uh matter of fact we're gonna go over there also you know because they're getting exposed by everybody man you know uh, this with candace owens let me play it bear with me What you are doing right now is an act of evil. Prior to October 7th, I don't think many people were engaged with what is happening in Israel. You know, we kind of all said the same thing. Israel is our friend and ally. Post-October 7th, the world, and especially I would say Zionists and media, were demanding that we all pay attention. And when we began to pay attention, we didn't like what we saw. You, you cannot tell me to ever feel comfortable with 18,000 children being ruthlessly murdered. You can't get me to feel comfortable as a, a Christian with the amount of explosive, more explosives dropped on Gaza than were dropped in Hiroshima. This doesn't make sense to me. Gaza is 30 miles long, seven miles wide. It's an incredibly dense population. And this is, by the way, according to Haaretz, that 40,000 uh, Palestinians have been murdered. And here's what I would like to, to say to you, Rabbi, since you're, you're quoting scripture, okay? The one that's relevant to me is, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. And I'm speaking directly to you, Rabbi Shmuley. And what you are doing right now is an act of evil. So now she's uh, because he, he, like uh, i was saying you can say nothing about them so now she's demonetized from uh, youtube you know <laughs> because she says that because why who, who owns uh, who owns youtube you know so uh, they are not happy with her you know and hey she herself is also with uh, one of them you know of that tribe you know but uh they are really getting exposed and she is an and she is a israelite you know but um she don't have the full understanding but the apostles were saying this for the longest man you see so the truth is 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 is, is really flourish man that the, the faith is flourish you know and 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 the truth that was let me read it again man so, uh, this is second Ezra chapter 6 verse 27 for evil shall be put out and the seed shall be quenched as for faith it shall flourish corruption shall over shall be overcome and the truth which has been which had been so long without fruit shall be declared and these 
Edomites, these, these Amalekites getting exposed left to right. They don't know where to look. They don't know where to go. They're getting exposed left to right, man. You see? So that's why they are hurt, <laughs> you know, and uh, uh, they cannot, they cannot, they need to resort only now to violence, what we've seen with Hezbollah. And this is going to be a worldwide event because these devils, you know, Esau is going to resort to his blessing and that is going to be the weapon, man. He's going to come with, with violence, man, uh, like stated in the book of uh, Revelation 12 and 12. Matter of fact, let me read it real quick, you know, because he's going to come down with great wrath, man. You see, let me get it. This is Revelation chapter 12 and, and verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, Esau, Edom, Amalek, the so-called white man, uh, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he know it that he had a he had but a short time and these devils have about a short time you see because why they're getting exposed and uh, they always say it's like uh, if you put a cat in a corner you know he's gonna make <laughs> strange moves man you know and this is what Esau is gonna do man he's gonna resort because he's gonna get cornered and he's gonna resort on the with the weapon man and on who you think he's gonna get uh, come down to? On the Israelites, man. Because one of the small heads of officials also already said, you know, an, uh, a Shidamite, she said already that uh, the, the problem is uh, young uh, so called black Americans. Meanwhile, you have uh, you fighting in the Middle East with Hezbollah, Hamas, and you know, but you have a problem with a, a so called. Uh, 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 Negroes, <laughs> so you already know because they know that the great awakening is happening. So, this devil is going to come down with great red man, you see. And now, with in Revelation, let me read what she was uh reading, you know. Uh, let me go for there. Uh, yeah, I can get it also. Uh, let me get it here. Gone. This is a uh, Revelation chapter nine and verse uh, chapter two and verse nine. So like, I also can go in. You can read it also in three and nine. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. Thou art rich. Rich with what? With the knowledge of Yahweh Shem Yahshai, man. That the Lord is with us, man. And I know the blasphemy of them which say that they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. And that was the scriptures he was quoting, man. You see? So, yeah, man. So, hey, Esau's getting exposed from left to right, right to left. So, you know, there's no holding, man, on, man. <laughs> you see? So, Esau is, is done. It's true, man. Really. It's really, they are true. So this is, uh, yeah, for us it's uh, beautiful because we see the works of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, man, you know, in full glory, man, you see. So let me go also to uh, uh, the book of Numbers, chapter 24 and verse 20. Uh, and when he looked on Amalek, he took up uh, his parable and said, Amalek, that's the Lord speaking, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall that he be that he perish forever. And after this, man, if the if if you fulfilled your role that the Lord gave you, what you need to do, you're gonna perish forever, man. You Amalekites, man. You know, the the the, the what Saul had to do with uh, with with you basically. You know, cause uh, King Saul, the 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 order was that uh, King Saul had to uh, really uh eliminate all of your Amalekites man but he didn't do it so you know the story if you go to uh first Samuel you know you can read it you know but uh that is what it is man the Lord hates uh, Amalek man he hates Esau he, he always said he hates Esau but Amalek he got a special one with you man you see 
And uh, Exodus, let me go to Exodus. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 17 and verse 16. For he said, because the Lord had sworn that the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. Until this day, the battle is on with the Amalekites, man. You see? And once again, they don't even share the spoil with the other uh, uh, counterpart Edomites, you know. They hoard in everything for themselves, the Amalekites, man. That's why they pulled the anti-Semitic card also for them, that everybody needs to pity them and they getting money, aid, you know, uh, in my uh, part one, I already played it, you know, that uh, how much trillions are going to, uh, to the state of Israel, you know, that American tax money, what they pay into Israel and also over here, man, you see? Germany, you know, Holland, all these countries, I think France also, they all pay Israel aid, man. That's why they're all behind uh, Israel, man. <laughs> you see? So, but they are getting really exposed for who they really are, man. And they don't like it and they feel cornered. And that's why Bibi Milokowski don't, uh, he still, you know, try to create, make, make war, make war, because it's as long as he is uh, warring against everybody, they cannot uh, uh, drag him in front of the criminal court, you know, in the ICC. You see the international courtroom. So that is really uh, what this is, man. So um, uh, I get a few videos left. Bear with me. And stay blessed. Once again, over 2 million of you have left and run to that airport in Tel Aviv. What are you running from? What happened to your biblical land grab? You know, that lottery by God, you know, that guy you think of whenever you get someone else's home or real estate. What happened to that? You're going to run off to the airport? Let me guess, you were chosen to run. Right? <laughs> or some biblical passage I didn't know about by Moses. He parted the Red Seas. And little did I know, sprinters, it turned into a track. I mean, come on. There's no place in the world you can go that's going to conceal any more of your lies and secrecy that you cloaked in Judaism. We are all on to the delusion of the settlers. We see your sons and daughters in that uniform that's become their monstrous skin. There's no destination that you can run to that is going to allow you back in to our reality. Hey, <laughs> hey, as he's right, man, you know, he's mocking them, really, man, and this is what this, their own, their own people are seeing them, okay, okay, maybe she can be an Israelite, you know, this woman, but by the appearance that you see her, then, you know, but she can be an Israelite, because everybody's on to them, man, you see, <laughs> nobody believes them anymore, man. So this is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1 and verse 6. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? And it is no more hidden because the Lord is made you bare, man. You see, <laughs> everything is on front street. You cannot hide anymore, man. Your own people are seeing now who you are, who you really is, man. You see, so that makes him mad. <laughs> you know, so Paula, that is her name, Paula, uh, I cannot see it really good, Paula, yeah, well, Paula, you know, we say Paula, Paula is, is saying the obvious, man, <laughs> so how you hear the things, uh, how you are you, uh, the things of Esau searched out, man, and how is hidden things sort of, hey, this is what it basically is, man. So that's why this kingdom is, is, is going down, man. Because why? The Lord is it made Esau bear, man. He is tearing everything up, man. And we are rejoicing, man. We see what is going on, man. This is all for the controversy of Zion, man. So this is the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 26. 
And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? So this kingdom is about to fall, man. Because Esau, Edom is divided against himself. And this is all, all biblical prophecy that this, would happen, that this would happen, man. You see? The beast going to hate the whore. And vice versa, they're going to be against this, uh, each other, man. You see? This is what is really going to happen. And they are made bad because people are see right through the BS of these j double -O's, man. You see? So this beautiful, man. So Esau is true, man. Esau is really true. So uh, let me go to the next clip. Bear with me. And secrecy. Let me go. This one. Two. That is going to allow you back in to our reality. Yeah, man. So, hey, this is the book of Hebrews. You see it, man. I ain't gonna say too much, but let me read this. This is Hebrews chapter 12 and uh, verse uh, 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright, and that says it says it all, man. You see, he didn't, he didn't respect or give, uh, 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 he didn't respect uh, his birthright, man. You see, it was also, all, of course, it was all, all preordained, but still, man. You see, if you have a spirit like that who don't give, don't care about nothing, you know, all about. Uh, it is all about now. He wants now his satisfaction. That's why he sold his birthright because he was hungry. You see, something so special. He didn't uh, th thought about uh, tomorrow, uh, the next generation, his, his his seed. He didn't care about nothing. It was all about him right now. I want it now, right now. And this is the still the same spirit these Edomites are are, are in, man. You see. Their leaders, every one of them is, is in that spirit, man. You see? I want it now, you know, don't care, you know. So that says what for man it is, man. He didn't respect the Lord, Yahweh Shai. He was like, I don't care. You see? And later he started to cry and he wanted his blessing, you know. So and that is the kind of person he is, and that is the way he is operating, man. You see? So in the NLT, make sure that no one is immoral or godless like Esau. Uh, who traded uh, who traded his birthright as as the firstborn for a single meat you see verse 17 for ye know that afterward when he would in half inherited the blessing in the KG, uh, kgv in the king james version uh, he was rejected for he found no place of repentance though uh, he uh, sought it carefully with tears yeah man you see he he was crying if you read in genesis you know he was crying man like yeah, i want my parents right back you know when jacob uh, of isaac Salakia, uh gave uh, the blessings man and his mother said to isaac like hey go you know act like you are like esau because isaac was was didn't see well anymore you know so yeah man <laughs> and then later he started to cry man you see but he already sold it, so always, you know, because they be like, Jacob took it. No, but that was preordained. The Lord wanted like that. That's why he said, Jacob, I love it. Esau, I hate it, man. You saw? In the womb, he already knew it was going to be two different nations. And uh, he already was like, hey, Jacob is going to get that blessing, man. You see? So this, like we always say, this is the, this is the Lord movie, man. This is nothing of us, man. The, this is the Lord's movie. So the Lord's, 
uh, the Lord is the director, sit on the chair, and he said how everything needs to go, man. And everybody plays his role, everybody's in his lot. And that is what it is, man. You see? And you see these people, man. This is what they are doing, man. To go back to that, man, to this uh, last clip that you have seen. You know, it's normal for them, man. You know, they don't uh, uphold the scriptures, the Bible. No, they got the Babylonian Talmud. That is that is a demonic book, man. Got nothing to do with Yahweh Bashem Yahashai, man. But they are the people of the Lord, the chosen people. Okay. Okay. You see? So, you know, the filthy, man. It's this filth. It's filthy. It's immoral. These people, man. And this is a rabbi talking. It's normal. You know the whole tunnel with the mattresses, with babe. It's crazy, man. With toddlers and babies. Because they are in that, man. You see? Little babies who got, uh, who got uh, uh, genital diseases. Because why? Of, 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 of circumcision sucking the blood from the... That is horrible. That is dirty. That is immoral. That's how dirty people are doing that, man. You see? There's nowhere in the scriptures that you can do sick things like this, man. You see? But you are the people of the Lord. Okay. <laughs> so let me go to another video. Yeah, the last one I made it by myself, you know. But uh, yeah, man, you see the signs and the things that they have. You know, you see Bibi uh, Milakowski there, you know. And uh, yes, man, th these are all skulls and bones and, 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 and you know, Freemasonry, Talmud, all wrapped in one. And this is how they're operating, man. Speaking with their hands and showing allegiance to Satan, really, man. You see? So, uh, yeah, man, so um, uh, let me go to uh, last videos and then I'm going to close out. So, yeah, you see it, man, this was yesterday. You know, Hezbollah pagers, uh, Hezbollah pager blast, Israel hack, Lebanon militant groups, new devices inducted recently. Mossad, this is from News 9 Live, Mossad. Mossad's explosive pager plot revealed how Israel planted explosive in 5,000 pages. You see? Hey, and then they, this is gonna, they're gonna retaliate, man. This is gonna bring more tension in that area, man. You know, because the Lord is gonna kick them out, man. You see? Uh, let me see. I want a short, short video, you know. Yeah, this is from Australia. Uh, let me pull a little bit, show you a little bit, you know. But hey, the nations are, are, are mad, man. Riskeer het niet om je foto's en video's te verliezen. Deze innovatieve stick maakt het eenvoudig om. We begin with Hezbollah vowing revenge after what appears to be a highly sophisticated and coordinated attack against the group. Yesterday, pagers used by the militant group exploded near simultaneously in Lebanon and Syria, killing at least 12 people and injuring thousands, including Iran's ambassador to Lebanon. Both Hezbollah and the Lebanese government have blamed Israel for the attack, although there has been no comment from Israel's military. Amid this serious escalation, Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in Egypt this morning for talks with top officials as diplomats continue to try and secure a ceasefire deal in Gaza. Uh, following all of the latest for us from Tel Aviv now is CBS News foreign correspondent Chris Livesey. Chris, good morning. 
Good morning. Well, Hezbollah is clearly reeling from that unlikely attack. While Israel has not claimed responsibility, nonetheless, it's bracing for retaliation. Now, in a region defined by brazen attacks, this one was unlike any other. Pagers in the pockets, hands, and vehicles of Hezbollah militants exploding simultaneously in streets and grocery stores, all the way to the Iranian ambassador in Lebanon who escaped with minor injuries. Throngs more flooded hospitals with severed limbs and bloodied faces. But the most stinging blow is psychological and operational, as a former CIA intelligence director tells us. Devastating Hezbollah's confidence as well as its ability to communicate and function as a military force. Now, the vexing question for Hezbollah is how? Initial reports suggest the beepers were tampered with before they were imported into Lebanon, booby trapped with as little as one. And that is a very cowardly way of, uh, uh, of warfare, man. You see? And that is Esau, man. <laughs> you know, it's cowardly, man. You see? One or two ounces of high explosives. Now, American officials have pointed to a Taiwanese company as the supplier, and that supplier says the beepers were made by a licensing partner based in Hungary. Several months ago, Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah told his men to get rid of their smartphones to evade Israeli tracking. Backed by Iran, Hezbollah has been exchanging fire with Israel for nearly a year forcing Israelis to flee their homes on the country's northern border by the tens of thousands. Israel has vowed to end the fighting, and if necessary, through force. Now this morning, Hezbollah issued a statement saying Israel should expect retaliation, but taken by surprise as they were, Hezbollah must also be weighing if security breaches still exist that have yet to be exploited. Anne-Marie? All right. Yeah, man, so this is uh, the tensions are brewing. You know, we hear the rumors of war, you know, but uh, the end will come very soon, man. But first, a few uh, major prophecies has to have to come to pass, man. And they're already also busy with that, you know, the, the, the CBDC, digital ID, it's all go gonna uh, lead to the MOTB, the Harakma, you know. So, uh, yeah, man, we're living in uh, really beautiful times, man. You know, because the Lord is manifesting himself also, you know, through the works and uh, the uh, uh, through prophecies, man, that we see everything is played out in front of our eyes, man. You see? So, and it's going quick, man. So, but uh, these people who are over there, man, you know, they, uh, they are drawing really uh, America, you know, to, uh, to that uh, great battle, man, you see? You see, and also these other NATO uh, countries, you know, they drawn them to the battle, man. You see, and that is uh, that's why. Let me read it. Uh, this is Jeremiah 50, verse uh, 45, and it reads: Therefore, hear ye the counsel of the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, that He had taken against Babylon, and His purpose that He had purposed against the land of the Chaldeans. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make that the habitation desolate with them. So the least of the flock is these uh, Amalekites, you know, uh, the, the head tribe of Esau, Edom. You see, drawing, uh, they draw all the, uh, America and this na these NATO, NATO countries uh, to war, man. Because why? They are warring with all these uh, neighboring uh, countries, man, the, the the Muslim countries, man, you see? And uh, Turkey uh, also uh, made, made the foul, like, uh, you know, because they got a lot of refugees coming from Palestine, and, you know, all these Muslim countries, they are now banding together, really, with one goal, to, to get uh, Israel, man, these small heads, man, so... This is only going to uh, lead to also uh, that great battle that is going to happen in the, in the Valley of Yahweh Shepard, where the Lord will judge all these nations, man. You see? So, yeah, man. It's uh, beautiful times we've seen. So, you know, let me watch this real quick. Let me watch this real quick. I made a quick, uh, you know... Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, so I made this, you know. <laughs> I was putting it on TikTok, but then I pulled it away. But uh, yeah, man, it is fitting because they are the one who's gonna, you see, Yale the double O, he, he driving, he driving America straight to WW3, man. <laughs> You know, so the, that's why this was really, I was like, hey, this is really funny. So, but that is really what it is, man. This is what is going to happen, you know. But, hey, the leaves of the flock going to draw them out. We see it over here, you know. And, uh, yeah, man, uh, these are really, really, really uh, crucial times, really, you know, and uh, exciting times. So, with that, I want to give the highest honor, glory, and all praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rahakudash, double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, Yashorallah, Shalom.